Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm once again joined with Eric. Say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> he's got a special spot out here around the area of Cisco and Yellow Cat where he's got some cool pieces of wood that he finds. And he was gonna share that with me. Um, he's asked me to keep it quiet, so no GPS coordinates to here, but we'll go ahead and see what we find today. So he's got lots of pieces. I've got a few down here I've already grabbed. But if you look down, you'll see shards of it all over the place. There, there. Just these shards of the wood. And then sometimes a few bigger pieces. It's not a particularly colorful wood, but it does have nice texture in it. So these shard pieces, not as good. The darker ones tend to be a little better. So there's a piece. But yeah, we're gonna explore around. So he says there's some big ones he's found though. Some nice logs that we're gonna try and find. And I'm gonna explore around and see what else I can find. So Eric's digging in there. He's already pulling out some of the bigger pieces. Can't really see them very well yet. But he says he's got a nice one, big one in there that he's going for. Well, Eric's gonna be digging for a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and search around a little bit, see if I can find my own spot with some good bigger size pieces. And we'll come back and check out his work. Just found this little nodule. It's kind of a nodule of Jasper agate. Problem is the middle is probably just white, but I think it's worth at least cutting. So I'm gonna take it open, cut it open. If it's just white in the middle, I'll throw it away, but. Maybe. We'll try. And here we're finding some of those traditional repair, replaced barite nodules that have the red jasper agate in them. This one looks like it might be a good one to cut open. I'm seeing maybe a little crystal there, so we'll probably take that one. And I'm starting to see a bunch of shards of wood again, so we'll look closely and see if we've got any bigger pieces. Here's some more of that red jasper. Pretty stuff. Don't think I'll keep that one in the though. There are better ones out here. As I come up the hill, I'm finding some bigger pieces. Nice. We should be able to get some bigger stuff further up. Getting these interesting pieces of dark jasper. They're dark, but they've got interesting colors in them. I might take that home and cut it. But yeah, it's like a purple. Hmm. Here's this one cut open. Oh, that looks very nice, actually. I like that. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that. Let me try and get my finger out of the way so there's not a shadow. That is really nice, actually. Yeah, there's some really good colors and patterns out at Cisco and Yellow Cat, and you just, you never know. So I'm starting to see more of these purple ones. I'm kind of littering here, but some of them might be really nice. Look at that. Those layers of purple, and then that. There might be some good looking ones like this up here. So I found this cool looking stream pebble from the conglomerate unit above us. So I think I'll take that home and cut it just to see if it's cool inside. Here's this river rock I found cut open. Uh, about what I thought. I didn't think there would really be much in there. Well, that is kind of cool right there. We've got some kind of webbing going on in there. Oh. Huh. Well. Here's a cool piece of white wood in the, in the rock. So it's a, it's a sandstone, so it is a, a stream deposit here. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool to look at though. Isn't that neat? Here's some more wood in the rock. <laughs> Once again, it's white. Really cool. Well, there's a decent looking piece of wood there. Little pieces of it coming off. So this is really hard rock. This is that conglomerate sandstone. So even if you were to break this out, this would just shatter. You can see how fractured it is. So I'm not worth your time trying to get out of this. But maybe if we get lucky, there's some pieces of wood in the lower stuff where it's not as bad. <laughs> Here's a piece of wood in it. it. Hasn't agatized as well as some of the others. So you can see how brittle that is. But it's cool that you can see the wood. Some of it still may be even carbon. <laughs> cool. Here we've got a few cool pieces of wood in the rock. Let's look at that funky one. That was cool right there. <laughs> very white and very fractured. Cool. And then there's another one down here. 
right there. Another piece of white wood. Cool. So I've been finding a few pieces of this. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm going to wash that off. But it looks like it might be some kind of a sea maggot. It's definitely in the conglomerate where you're finding the wood. But I'm not seeing the wood texture on it. Doesn't mean it isn't wood. It could be. It could be like smashed wood. Let me wash them off and get a better look. Okay, I washed them off. So, looking at them closely, I don't see any wood texture in it. Let's take a look at the next one. That's got some nice layering in it. Once again, I can't tell if it's any wood texture. And that one. That one really looks like a sea maggot to me. Unfortunately, the agates aren't terribly pretty. But, hmm. I don't know. Here's this one cut open. Oh. Hey, it's got a little bit of agate right in the middle. So nice banded. It's fairly clear and colorless with white. But <laughs> that's still cool to have that in there. So I saw this piece. Tried spraying it off. I was like, oh, maybe there's some wood. I can't tell. But then, <laughs> looked over here. And what do we see here? Yeah. There's a nice chunk. Now that's a nice chunk of wood. Look at that. Ah, so the yellowish is the core of them. Okay, that's cool. Well, <laughs> That is a nice piece. Look at that. What a find. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. And there's some more pieces of it here. We'll take a closer look at some of those. This looks like the biggest one, but we'll see. There might even be more. If it came out right here, then maybe we'll have to dig a little bit. All right, so we got this smaller piece. That's kind of cool. We'll keep that. We're going to start making a pile up here. And this looks like maybe a section of the edge of it. I'm not sure. See, this looks like some of that stuff I sent there was saying, maybe vein agate or something. Maybe it's just the edge of the wood we're seeing. That could very well be it. Just the edge of it. Maybe it fell out of these boulders that fell down from up high. Or the layer is down here as well. I mean, most places where there's wood, you'll find a couple layers of it. And so we saw the white wood up there. But down here, maybe we're getting the better color stuff. Because, yeah, that is so much better. Came down the hill a little ways. Found another piece of it. Nice. Oh, that's a pretty good size of it, too. <laughs> nice. Is that a piece, too? Um, can't tell. Maybe. Hmm, the agate here looks, this piece looks a little different. Maybe we'll take that home and cut it open. Here's this one cut open. Oh, not much there. Pretty dark. Not a whole lot going on. Oh well. Just found this shard of wood. That has some of the most clarity I've seen in any of the wood up here. A little bit of light gets through it. I would hold it up to the sun, but there's no sun today. It's all cloudy. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, huh. Can't tell if that's wood, but it looks really nice. It might be. I should keep that one. Look at that. Where the heck did that come from? I haven't seen anything that looks like that. That's really cool. Just saw this nice piece sticking out. Look at that. That's a perfect limb. Fractured, but not too bad. I mean, that's actually pretty solid. Really nice. That's a good find right there. And here it is all sprayed off. Look at that. Almost looks like the blue forest stuff a little bit. <laughs> From Wyoming. Cool. And didn't pay attention to what was sitting right next to it. And something that fell below it. So there's another piece of it. And this might be the biggest piece of it. 
And it is. Oh gosh, look at that limb. Oh, let's see if we can't find the rest of the limb. It definitely has fallen out. It came out of one of these boulders as it fell. So we'll search for all the limb pieces we can find. Found another piece of it. It's the fourth piece I found. I wonder if I can find enough of it to piece some of it back together. <sighs> Need a better place to put them. Yeah, I'm so excited. This is so cool. There's another one of those pieces that's that purple. Looks like it might be kind of interesting. Again, I think I'll take that home and cut it to see if it looks good inside. Here's this one cut open. Oh, that one's interesting. Look at that. Some splotches in there of different colors. That is very interesting. Cool, I like it. On the way down, I found this decent looking shard of wood. Yeah, I'll keep that. It looks really nice. So now I'm almost to the bottom. We're back down in the area where you find the nice agatized barites. So you want to try to find whole ones of this that aren't all broken up. You cut them open, they're beautiful. See that? So yeah, it's in this stuff. <laughs> Best way to spot it, of course, is to see the red. But it's nice if you can spot it from the outside and find one that's mostly complete. Caught back up with Eric. He was checking out this area over here. He found this really nice piece of red agate. Look at that. It's got some really nice lines in it with quartz in the middle. And then you get the fun little, you know, barite replaced with agate. Pseudomorphs, they look like these little grapes. <laughs> so you get those down here too. Fun, we gotta go see what he found in his place. Yeah. I'll have to show him what I found. Okay, we're back at the vehicle. Eric's showing me his treasures. Ah, look at that big chunk. Well, that's beautiful. It's got more pattern in it than, ones that, than the ones I found. This is really nice. Look at that big thing. <laughs> that is beautiful. And it'll look probably even better once it's all washed off. Got some more pieces here. Yeah, good pieces. So this one, that well, looks pretty good. This one's more that purple under there. Hard to tell, but. Right. But I guess the. But they can imagine how. <laughs> Yeah, How I mean, nice that'll be the, once it's all washed off. This is the purple it becomes. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah, that's what it looks like well, when cool. it's cleaned off. So, well, I don't think I found any of that, but yeah. <laughs> that's still really cool. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed that. You'll have seen everything cut open and cleaned off, whatever I do cut. Most of it will probably just be washed off. But some really good stuff. Uh, thank you so much, Eric, for <laughs> showing me this cool spot. And I hope you guys enjoyed the cool stuff we found. And remember, there's treasure everywhere.